What a fight. It's easy to see why both of these men have been ranked so highly. Both are champions, number one and number two pound for pound fighters. And it's because both of them show up at the absolute highest level when the lights are the brightest. Now this fight may have lacked a little bit in the promotion, but it absolutely delivered when it counted. Going into this one, it was easy to look at it as a classic striker versus grappler matchup. We'd all seen each man execute on his craft at the highest level. Volk started making a habit of just piecing up his opponents on the feet. Three times we saw this man get the best of Max Holloway and his last performance against the Korean zombie was something special. And we've been watching Islam Makachev just ragdoll people ever since he stepped into the Opticon. But going into this one, everyone was making a point to talk about just how good the takedown defense of Volkanovski was and just how hard he was going to be to hold down if he did get taken down. And going into the preview for this one, I spoke about how we've seen a big step up over the years from Islam in regards to his striking. His kicks have gotten a lot better and that left hand improved a lot. And we saw all that on display from both of these men tonight. What an awesome fight. Now right from the opening bell, the very first round was interesting. Volk showed some good movement on the feet. That was going to be key in attempting to stop the clinch and stop the takedown from Islam. A little bit later on in the round, we saw him land a hard left hand, cause Islam to stumble. But as the round went on, we saw Islam able to repay that favor. Got a nice shot in, dropped Volk, eventually was able to get the takedown with about a minute left in the round. Islam got the takedown, got to his back, but ultimately he wasn't able to do anything with it. Volk defended with ease, looked super calm the whole time. Set the stage good. Give us some nice drama for how this fight was going to develop. Second round starts. Things immediately start to pick up. Early in the round, we see Volk go out there and drop Islam. But dude is such a talented grappler. He gets dropped from the shot. Immediately grabs a leg. Turns this into a grappling match. He's able to, he's able to recover a little bit. Tries for the takedown. Volk's defends. Gets back to the center of the octane. Now, you got to look at this. At that moment... Volkanovski had to feel about 10 feet tall. He was about halfway through the second round. He'd been taken down and easily survived. He'd landed some good shots on the feet. And he defended a takedown. So even though I gave the first round to Mahakchev, Volkanovski had to be feeling pretty good at that point. It's a good spot to be in. Now, mind you, by the end of the round, things started to change a little bit. We saw Islam able to land a beautiful counter left hand. Send Volk staggering across the octagon. He was able to follow up with a good flurry. He was not to be denied, and he was showing that his striking was going to be able to stand up. By the end of the second, we've got Islam up two zip. I ended up giving him the fourth round as well. He controlled the entire round from the ground, had back control on Volk. Wasn't able to do much with it, but it was just such a dominating position. I also ended up giving Volk rounds three and five, but he finished the fight so incredibly strong. You know, that fifth round, Makachev looked like he was getting a little bit gassed to me. And Volk just stepped on it, man. He just he just really stepped it up. He went in there. He landed some big shots. Ended the round in top position. I, we saw Makachev look at the clock two different times. His face is beat up. He's on his back getting big shots landed on him. When is the last time we saw that? When is the last time we saw a man go in there, take Islam Makachev down, put him on his back, beat him up? But that's what we saw Volkanovski do. The man, the 145-pound champion, move up. And when he's finishing the round, the fight in the fifth round, he's doing so from a dominated position. Something else, man. Something else. Ended up giving the fight to Islam, 3-2. to two. But the story of this fight is going to end up being twofold to me. Number one is how good Volk lo looked moving up in weight. Fighting the guy that people thought was an absolute monster. Now, at the end of the day, he wasn't able to get his jab going, so we didn't see that fluid, dominant striking that we're used to. But he's able, able to win two rounds from the champ. He showed some great grappling. Made me excited to see him go back down to 145 pounds and fight Yair. And I also got to be honest, I don't think this is going to be the last time we hear of Volkan Mahakjab. I think these two, with the performance that we put out tonight, we're going to see a fight between them again at some point in the future. And the second big takeaway from this fight is that Islam Mahakchev better work on his cardio, man. If this would have been a six-round fight, I think he would have been in some serious trouble. Like I mentioned earlier, he looked at the clock two different times. 
nothing. Volk would have been able to go out there and get some incredible work done should there have been a sixth round. Now, look, we know there's never going to be a sixth round. But the flip side of that is what if Volk would have stepped up the pressure sooner? What are the other 155 pounders seeing now? You know, it only takes a little bit. You see the smallest chink in a man's armor. And all of a sudden, everybody starts to exploit it. It's, it's funny how that works. You know, you look back at, for example, people, you know, the, running the mile. Nobody had ever broken a four-minute mile. And then as soon as somebody broke it, all of a sudden, all kinds of other people are able to break it. Proves that there's such a mental block for people. You know, you go out there, somebody looks good against Islam Mahakshev in a situation where he had been dominating so many people. And all of a sudden, maybe, people go in there with a renewed confidence. People want to go in there and give it a shot and they end up looking a little bit better. So who knows what's going to develop from this? I'll tell you one thing, though. Islam Mahakshev maintains the belt at 155 pounds. He is that guy. So let me know. What did you guys think of the fight? Who do you want to see him fight next? We know that Volkanovski is going to be going back to 145 and fighting Yair, a man who looked amazing in his own right this evening, getting the stoppage victory over Josh Emmett. Let me know what you guys think.